Are you tired of spending countless hours on social media trying to promote your event with little to no results? Well, you're in luck because today we are sharing our tried and tested methods for successfully marketing your event on social media. As an event organizer, we all know how overwhelming it can be to market your event on social media. With so many platforms and strategies and content types, it's easy to get lost in the chaos. But fear not because by the end of this video, we'll have all the tools and knowledge you need to successfully market your event on social media without breaking a sweat. But before we dive in, a quick introduction. Welcome to the Ticket Tactics channel where we share all our insider tricks and tips on how to successfully plan your event and sell those tickets. This channel is powered by the online ticketing platform TicketSource, who over the last 10 years has helped facilitate the sale of over 10 million tickets. So you could say we know a thing or two about selling tickets. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below because we've got plenty of videos coming on how to maximize your event success. Now let's get on with the video. Step one, identify your aims. So first things first, let's talk about your aims. What do you want to achieve on social media? Maybe you want to boost engagement and you want to get people talking and sharing and excited about your event. Or maybe you just want to raise awareness, make sure everyone knows about your event and they know that it's awesome. And of course, there's the aim of driving ticket sales, convincing people to sign up and purchase those tickets. How do we know that we're hitting those aims? That's where measurable metrics come in. These are like scorecards helping us track performance and make sure we're on the right track. For engagement, you might track things like comments, shares, likes, see how people are interacting with your posts and sharing the message. When raising awareness, you might track reach, how many people are seeing your posts. And for sales, it's all about tracking signups and purchases, how many people are taking those final steps and committing to your event. Step two, identify your audience. So why is knowing your audience so important? Understanding your audience helps you better tailor your content and your messages to grab your audience's attention and get them excited about your event. Plus, it helps you find out where they are online so you're not just shouting into a void. So what things should you know about your audience? Let's break it down. First up, demographics, like age, location, gender. Knowing this helps you to paint a picture of who your audience are and what they might be interested in. Then dive into their interests. What do they like to do? What gets them excited? This helps you to create content that resonates with them and helps keep them engaged. Finally, find out what social media platforms they're on. This is crucial in preventing you wasting time, effort, and energy on platforms that your audience aren't even on. Now, you may be wondering, how do I find all this juicy information? Well, there's a few ways. You could send out surveys to your existing contacts, or you could check your social media insights to see who's already engaging with your content. Who are they targeting? Are there opportunities to reach a similar audience? By identifying your audience and learning all about them, you'll be able to craft content that speaks directly to their hearts and minds. Step three, brand identity. Establishing a strong brand identity creates a cohesive look and feel across all your social media platforms. This makes your event easily recognizable and memorable for your target audience. Now let's go over a few of the key elements that you need to establish to create a brand identity. First up is your tone of voice. This is how you speak to your audience. Are you friendly and casual or more formal and professional? It's all about finding the right tone that resonates with your audience. For example, if your event is a fun music festival, then you might want to take a more playful and energetic tone of voice to your communications. Next is your visual style. This includes stuff like content, colors, and imagery. Your visual style should reflect the vibe and personality of your event. If your event is a classy gala dinner, then you might want to choose elegant fonts and sophisticated color palettes to create an image of luxury and exclusivity. Finally, work out your key messages. These are the core ideas and themes that you want to communicate to your audience. This could be sharing the key features and benefits of your event or sharing the captivating story behind that event. What inspired it and what makes it worth attending. Step four, the juicy bit content creation. When it comes to content creation, one size does not fit all. That's why it's crucial to tailor each piece of content to a specific stage of the marketing sales funnel. Awareness, consideration, and conversion. Let's break it down, shall we? First off, you've got the awareness stage, which is all about getting the word out there and grabbing people's attention. Think eye-catching visuals, intriguing teasers, and shareable content, which are gonna make people stop scrolling in their tracks and take notice. Next, you've got the consideration content. At this stage, people are already aware of your event and they're considering whether to attend or not. This stage is all about sharing more information with them and convincing them that your event is worth their time and money. And finally, conversion content. This is where the magic happens. You want to seal the deal and get people to take action, whether that's purchasing a ticket, signing up, or RSVPing to your event. Now, before you dive into your content creation, it's worthwhile doing a SWOT analysis. Strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Take a look at your strengths, what sets you apart from your competition. Then identify weaknesses and areas for improvement. Next, explore opportunities. What trends 
trends and topics are hot right now that you can jump on top of. And finally, be aware of any threats or challenges that might threaten your content strategy. By splitting your content up into the areas of the sales funnel and running your SWOT analysis, you'll be able to create content that drives people towards attending your event. Step five, schedule a plan. Planning a schedule may sound like a chore, but believe me, it's like having a roadmap that guides you to success. So why is planning a schedule so crucial? Well, it keeps you consistent and keeps you on track of what needs to be posted and when. First off, grab a calendar and mark out all the important dates from now and up until your event. This should include the date itself, any ticket sale launches, and any offers and promotions during this period. Consistency is key. So decide if you've got the time to post daily, every other day, or a few times a week, and then stick to that plan. There are tons of tools out there to help you plan and schedule your social media content, like Hootsuite and Buffer, etc. However, a lot of social media platforms have the capacity to schedule content within their own platforms nowadays. And remember that SWOT analysis that we did in the last step? Use your strengths and opportunities to guide your plan and schedule, and make sure you're focusing on what sets you apart. Finally, step six analyze and improve. Analytics and reporting allow you to track your performance, see what content's working, see what content isn't, and then make adjustments and improvements to your plan. Luckily, most social media platforms come with their own built-in analytics, making it easy to track performance as you go on. Take advantage of these tools and dive into the data to uncover valuable insights. This will allow you to fine-tune your strategy for greater success in the future. And that's it. That's our essential guide for marketing your event on social media. If you'd like to discover our five powerful tips on how to sell your tickets fast then click the video here. And if you'd like to keep up to date on all our video releases, then you can click here to subscribe. Thanks for watching.